Oh my god. <laughs> he survived. The, the fucking dog or wolf, whatever. He survived. Torkoal. I. <laughs> I thought he died. I mean, like. You saw the fight with uh, with Clive and with his brother Joshua. How the fuck did he survive that? The explosion, the fire everywhere. Everyone died. Well, they were close to them, but fuck. He must have run. He must have dipped really fast. <laughs> Holy shit! I wanted to see how he survived. Like, how, where did he went? I'm looking at the map. Which one's the Holy Empire? Is it this one? Or, no, it can't be this one. Because we're close to it. Because the, you know, like. It could be either that one, this one, or. Or that one. I think it's this one. Because it's the farthest away. Like the Holy Empire is like the oh like the the last boss like you're talking about and it's pretty much look like this one. It's like two, like there's one small one and there's like one huge one. Oh, was this the one that uh we were like fighting with the peoples? You know like. That the abominations are monsters or something like that, where they, they took the little girl. Is it that one right here? Like, there's like a borderline here, like preventing people from crossing. I think. Let's go over here, the hideaway. further now but we're in the middle of the deadlands keen eye you the blight suck this place dry meaning no trees no birds and no magic but it also means no neighbors the last place anyone would think to look Sweet home. How do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nails. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, it's are you. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You have nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Learning the old tradition way, planting seeds in the ground and like growing them with like I don't know, finding a river and trying to grow the plants. 
Give me a sec. Uh, let's see. Can I get anything new? No. Oh, let's see my abilities. Got 380. Ah, fuck. Heat wave. Holy shit! <laughs> I want that, but fuck. I want the heat wave. I want to do the, 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 the slash. Wait, why is there like. He does it once, then he does it twice. Like he, the slashing move. He, right there, he does one. Then here, he does it twice. We see summon a projectile dispelling wall to liquefy the flames before launching several deadly shockwave. Ways forced to uh, amplify upon dispelling magic. Okay, I get it. It's like almost like parry, but for magic. Yeah, I learned this. I think I did. Oh, I don't use it. I gotta do it sometimes. Let me see. They call them Sid. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Every final Final Fantasy, there's a Sid on it. Cornered by the battle on of an Iron Kingdom Crusader. In the depths of Nasia Defile, Clive's uh, thought his end of was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him in and uh, spirited him and Jill away to his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. I kind of like it. there's always a Sid in the Final Fantasy. You reckon he's a soldier then? we be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. Can you smell me? What the fuck? You think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely, are we, August? Where's my dog? <laughs> Motherfucker, I thought you died. Still hungry, are you? Might have some around here. Oh! <laughs> I, fuck, I, I freaking thought he died. I'm like, there's like no way he could fucking survive. Uh. What? Okay. <laughs> I literally Do thought he died. It will hold for now. Oh my god! So I pretty much get the idea that everybody's like relying on magic, but the dead zones are like, I don't know, like, like they kill the magic. I suck the magic away from the lands and make them. Leave me be. Not until you've had your medicine. Oh, yeah. The blight takes all These the magic. Are all foul. Would you rather you went without? But the blight takes the magic. I'm trying to say. And then now they're trying to do the old tradition way, our way, of planting grass in the soil. Need to speak with Blackthorn. Are we going to jail? Has she woken up? Are we are we gonna say sorry that we beat the crap out of her? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. 
conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> a lot of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why, nothing. Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chant. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Oh, he doesn't know it was him. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Oh, mer morning. Where, where's the, the like the medic room? How did you like this too? I want to know what's going on. Uh, she's fine, or, <laughs> or yeah, I did so much damage. I'm not going back to that life. <gasps> he, he's in. Oh no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well. Uh... This old nun's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith. To the forge it is then. Oh wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. I just got beer. 
Oh, you're here. <laughs> Fancy a mug of Kenneth's coldest when we're done. Is Jill here? Jill has to be here. No? Where the hell is like Medic Bay or? Uh, another newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, we have someone in there? <laughs> it is a jail cell next to the blacksmith. Good thinking. Good thinking. Once they get out, they could get a weapon. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? Well, no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sir to Lostwing, and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want some rum? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Forging and crafting a new gear as well as upgrading exist, uh, existing gear can be done at the blacksmith as long as you have the recipe and the proper material. Select a highlighted item from the from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. Reforge. I think. And the bell sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. <sighs> a word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Notice when something changed in the hideaway, notice will appear upright corner of the screen. In addition to uh, stock update for current uh, toll, new forging recipe for the black uh, hammer. There is also notice for new quests, new missive, and many other things. I suppose I should thank dudes. Wait a sec. I didn't know this was the thing. Okay, let's see, uh, where's the... What the fuck? A fat chocobo. <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. Give me a sec. A fat chocobo. Or is that... You know, like, the name of the... Of the... Of the bar. The fat chocobo. I'm no man's tool. Like... And neither are you. Here. Bad chocobo. Wait a minute. Most concerning. I'm trying to see the fat chocobo. Or is it behind here? I think it is the bar or the this place. Is this the fat chocobo? I think it is. Okay, Sid. Oh, it's right there, but I can't enter. Fuck! I wanted to go in. Oh, I got. They. You made the belt for me. That's it. I wanted a new sword. Damn it! The gift worked. You have my thanks. I. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. You, 
blankets. Quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make him comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. Yeah, you go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> what the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> Wait, is, that, is this the guy we saw before? Oh, when Clive was still in the mansion? Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <sighs> Shit, at this rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need tire. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tai the one looking after Jill? He kind of looks like the guy we saw before. Like the guy on the ground. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. The many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. Fake quest unlocked. Finally! Keep an eye for the for the icon above the head of the certain NPC. It indicates they have a uh, quest to offer. The list of current completed quests can be viewed in the journal. All right. After accepting the quest, the quest objective will appear to do list located on the right side. The main scenario and up to three side quests can be displayed. With priority, any quests are priority on the journal of the tab and main menu by highlighting. Okay. Oh, it's already, it's already a side quest. I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial capital. <sighs> this whole place is full. What the hell are you? What do you need? <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? What? Uh, 
what's he gonna give me? Huh? I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Another side quest. Holy shit! I thought it was gonna be only one, like a, like an example. What the hell is this? Do you think we should go and help? It sounds Don't like think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Ah, a new face, and dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. <laughs> so it is a name or a brand. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Let me do this first. It's pretty much easy. Who are these customers? Oh, meal. How long has it been? Hello there, sir. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. <laughs> nah, this fish is gonna have a cold. I'm gonna forget about it. One of these guys are gonna be a jerk. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. Now then, is this guy an asshole? When he's not it has to be an rumors, asshole here. Up there in that hole of his, brooding and Are you the asshole? Lay off the man. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. Scampering back to his solar, but All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. 
Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves, speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free, truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now. I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Oh! Where do I get this for this freaking strongbox? What the hell is that? Is it? God damn it! Wait. Countless treasure uh, coffers lies around the realm. It's waiting to be plundered. If you find one, do not hesitate, uh, hesitate to kick it with X. Okay. Magic metal. Increased defense. Ooh. Here we go. And who's this guy up here? Who are you? A wise man. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes, on account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen.
compiled some new entries. If you would like to see them. All right. Tom is a. Uh... I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. If you have a question for me, I should be happy oh. to answer it. All right. Icons. Magical being of godlike strength that dwell within the human host, known as Dominance. Only emerging when the Dominance Prime. History records eight icons in total, each with a unique elemental affinity. It's commonly held that two icons of the same elements cannot coexist, but as, but as none has ever witnessed all of these rare creatures together. The conjure is to yet to be proven. Those within who sleeps in the power of Icon, though they look and think no differently to any other man or woman. They can not only cast elemental magic without a crystal, but also transform themselves into beast, a world shattering strength at any moment. Quality for which they are honored or worshipped and feared the realm over. Priming. Oh yeah, I want to learn what the hell priming means. The act of a dominance transforming their life's flesh into that of their icon. Dominance most often prime during the time of war, using the immense strength of their icon to turn the tide of battle. Though it is usually done deliberately, the dominance remain in the control of the icon even when prime. On occasion, dominance will lose control of their power and see their icons run riots. Yeah, I want to know about this battle. Why they're fighting? What's going on? The Battle of Nysa was a short and yet bloody clash between the Iron Repu uh, Republican and the Republican of the Dahamika. I cannot pronounce that. In the year uh, 873, Dominicans, I don't know, hoping to be forced in the end of their long running conflict with the Iron Blood. A, a council of uh, Centra stronghold. And he treated with their uh, Waylord, I don't know how to pronounce it, allies to aid of their cause. However, talk soon broke down, and the Dominics, or Dominic, uh, I don't know, <laughs> were left with no choice but to rely on once more on the power of the mighty Titan, to whom they are already owed a considerable debt. Thus was the stage of, uh, set for a uh, showdown between the Titan and Shiva. The Iron Blood's own icon, in which loses the both sides were too many to count. I mean, Iron Blood's own icon, in which losses of both sides were too many to count. Alright, Kingdom. Yeah, we already know that. Oh shit. I wanna know Shiva. Shiva, the Wanderer of Ice, of whom Jill Warwick is the current, current dominant. The glacier aspect of ability to conjure burial, uh, burial boulders from the ether. Shiva appearance of the battlefield makes her enemy bloods run cold. Titan, the warden of earth, who, who's Hugo Kapka. <laughs> Is a current dominant. He takes the form of the stone skinned giant whose grand, uh, granite fist shakes the earth with a every mighty pummel. The titan dominant awaken among the peoples of the Dominican Thirst Desert. They accept them the strength being granted the great power and status by a republic in return of the commitment to protect the nation in the time of war. All right. Search. <laughs> There's actually a search. It was, yep. <laughs> I don't know. Person of interest. Holy shit, there's a lot of people here. The dominant of fire. A mysterious figure who was first seen in the middle of the chaos of the Imperial invasion of the Phoenix Gate. Immediately before the appearance of the second icon of fire, the very icon that slew the heir of the Ducal throne. Clive believed this man uh, to be the dominant who 
murdered his brother and has sworn to take his revenge. Second icon of fire. A fire aspect icon has first emerged in the year of the realm 860, when imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of the Phoenix Gate. Wait, clad? Clad in infernal flames. The fiendish creature flung herself against the Phoenix, overpowering the icon with strength and ferocity never seen before or since. Phoenix. Warden of Fire. Do this one. Born of fire whose strength they reside within the Joshua Rosefield, heir of the Rosian throne. The Phoenix is always born in the Ducal line and is worshipped by the populace. Not not least because the flames of old destruction and regeneration have delivered a duchy from disaster many times over. Born of fire last seen on the night of the Imperial invasion of the Phoenix Gate in 816 when the young Joshua Rosefield lost control of his power. The Phoenix awakened among the most of the fire. The ancient tribe who dwells in the western reaches of the storm and curfew pervasion of the bloodline among the nobility. Sure, the Dominica will always be born in the Doko line. So yeah, I've been wondering. What happened if... You know, like, like Joshua. What happened if he died? Does it go to someone else? It says it needs to go to, like, the bloodline. Like, it has to be someone in their blood. Who the hell will go to the... Like, their cousins? Maybe that? Or... What happened their cousins? They're dead too. Like, they're... He's like the only you bloodline. always welcome, Clive. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like Otto has everything under control. That's all. Wait, wait, wait. When he's not out chasing... Oh, that's not important. Up there now. That one's not important. I don't want to hear music. Alright. Take a sec. Can I talk to this person? Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Here we are. I better get this to. What the Jeffrey, hell did I do? Was it? Just put my hand on the fucking wood and I just like, I don't know, teleported in my inventory or something. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Do I have a magical inventory that I could put shit in there? Just by touching it? Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. What did he give me? A meteorite. Okay. And the bug. So he needed only one piece of wood, and that's it. Just one wood, and somehow that wood will like, like keep up with the freaking woodwork. This whole place. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, 
Were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. So you're saying Togo... <laughs> he came in... He, he followed Sid in this place? Like, was he a puppy or was he like a... a like, like that size of dog right now? Or how he is right now. Imperial infantry blade and a broad sword. I want to think. You're rubbing me blind, you know. That's all. Why are you barely a guilty a name? You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. That's the question. Is he a dog? Or is he a wolf? He looks more a wolf than a dog. Did my sword yeah, my sword actually changed. Shit. Let me see. Yup. I just wanna see the change. It looks old and rusty. Looks all new and shiny. Doesn't look like it's been in battle. Maybe it didn't. Where the hell she got these items? Like she has a full wear of items. Does she go out, you know, like to the city and buys them and brings them back and she sells them a higher price here? What the fuck just happened? The art stone is now accessible. This customizes the virtual battles uh, escape provide to Clive as a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available at Clive's progress through the story. What the fuck? No, can, can I just leave? No, I had to do it. Training mode. I mean, training mode, the hollow virtue, customize, okay, okay. Press the button to open the training menu. To adjust the both enemy and ally. Regen, burst timing. It's over. Oh. Am I just gonna fight all day, or am I supposed to do something? Shin. Oh, and training. God damn it! I didn't see that. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right.
Fast travel. Use the world map instantly travel previously unlocked location. New unlocks are unlocked by proxying through the main story. Alright. Can I just go over there? Oh, Chocobo! That's balls. a good girl. Hungry, are you? Oh, no, what? What happened to my Chocobo? <laughs> Is he still alive? <laughs> 